Creative Wishes. I'm Lisa from Iris Hill Art and Yoga and welcome to Watercolour Wellbeing. I'm excited to talk to you today about intention cards. What are they? What do we use them for? I am an artist and I create intention cards. I also practice using them. Here are a few examples. So we've got that lovely word here, create. And another example here, you've got the image and the word play and that lovely watercolour runniness there to express the play in the work. As a yoga teacher in both my teaching practice but also my own personal, I use intention cards. Intentions can help us focus and focus on the positives. For Iris Hill Art and Yoga, my intention is to inspire and that's a word I take with me every day. I thought it would be a lovely idea for us to create an intention card together. If you would like to, then please stay watching. Um, we're going to get creative. I'm going to talk you through a watercolour tutorial, but feel free to use any other art medium. So let's get creative. For our watercolour wellbeing session, we will need a piece of card or watercolour paper, roughly about A6 in size is what I tend to prefer. I have a variety of brushes, some new, some old, but I don't throw any away because they all make their own delicious marks. Uh, palette perhaps, if you're using watercolour, this is my current palette, oh look at all that yummy colour. This is the stuff I get excited about and as you can see I also don't wash my palette regularly because I love all the different colours that that may make. I use a variety of different watercolours. I have this Dr Martin's Hydrus range, now this is a liquid watercolour. I also use pan watercolours, this may look a bit more familiar, tube watercolours and these are amazing artisan paints and that means they're handmade by a company called Wild Thorn. You'll need a pencil, this one ooh, has got a lovely message on it, totally got this, which we do. And some water mm. jars as well, but depending on your art medium depends on what you will, will need. So please do go off piece, do play, do experiment, do try different things. So to start with, we're going to center and connect. It's really important for me when I change my um, mood from going into non-painting to painting, that I just take a few deep breaths. Allowing your breath to settle. Take a little deep, nourishing inhale. And then exhale. We could do that with the hands. Inhale to stretch out the fingers. Exhale to draw the fingers to a gentle fist. Nourishing inhale. And then lengthening our exhale. Take a chin mudra to stretch through the fingers. Taking that time to connect to your center and observe the gentle ebb and flow of your own body's natural rhythm. Our intention card is going to be inspired today by a leaf. It can be any leaf. God, look at all that lovely detail in the leaf. But I'm not going to try and copy this. I'm going to be inspired by technique I use is called wet on wet technique. So to get over that fear of the blank page I like to put a few spots of water down on the page to start me off. And my first breath and my first mark are in unison, always on my painting. I inhale to prepare Exhale, the full length of that first mark. 
I'm choosing to use a mixture of colours. Inhale to prepare and exhale to make the mark. Really strip back the shapes, keep them nice and simple, let's celebrate that simplicity. Inhale, prepare, exhale and make our mark. You can already see how it's picked up those little marks that I made with the water, those happy accidents, those unintentional marks. I'm going to also use a cocktail stick, a very humble cocktail stick. It's lovely to draw out some detail of the paint and can choose whether to link this with the breath. Inhaling, prepare. Exhale to make the mark. Oh, yum. <laughs> it's the little things. Inhale. Lengthening that exhale. Ooh, squeaky little sound. I may do a few more. And then writing that word we've chosen, that word inspire. And taking that word into our day, our week, or even beyond. Really focusing on that positive message. Whether you want to inspire a smile in a friend or someone that you don't know. Or want to inspire yourself. For trying something new, something a bit different. Play, experiment, have fun, get creative. This is not what about it. It looks like it's about how it feels and that will take a while to get used to that feeling. Art is something that is for you and if you choose to share it, then that is also a wonderful thing. I am so passionate about creativity. If you'd like to know more for more watercolour wonderment, please do follow me, Lisa at Iris Hill. I'm on Instagram at Iris Hill or Facebook at Iris Hill Art Yoga. And I regularly post lovely, runny, dribbly, doodly, all sorts of things on those pages that I love to share the joy of creativity with you. I'd like to say thank you for your curiosity, your courage and your creativity. As I said, my name is Lisa and I work under my nan's name, Iris Hill, and that is for a tribute to her and all her positive messaging that she showed me. Namaste. Thank you for taking part in Watercolour Wellbeing. <laughs>